So here we got Dot. If you can see our cat over there, uh, she's really just scoping out the cat, kind of fixating. Here again, kind of stopping what she's doing, thinking only about the cat. So that's a that's a prey focus that that we want to we want to be able to control. We want to be able to get her focus off of those sorts of things. Um, so she can continue to focus on us. Um, so here I'm using the remote trainer. Uh, just giving her a little tap on the shoulder. When I want to get her attention because she's not. She's not uh, minding the leash pressure. Uh, which she would otherwise be paying attention to if there wasn't a cat present. So I'm just giving her that little tap. Um, and you can see the levels that I'm working, I think, if you look closely there. And that's, that's able to get her attention without me yanking on the leash or having to raise my voice. Um, there I went up a little bit because I was holding and she, she was not responding at all, so I just went up a little bit. Um, again, just breaking that fixation, and then as soon as she uh, starts coming toward me, because she's conditioned to do that, uh, that's part of the training process, then... Uh, you know, the pressure from the remote trainer comes off immediately. And uh, so here, once once she's not focused on the cat at all, and she's kind of gotten that out of her head, um, you can notice that she starts to get more sensitive to the remote trainer. She's just more in tune to it. She's actually, she's feeling the same thing, but her mind is, it's like, um, when there's not anything going on and you're just sitting on the couch, uh, you know, you may be more sensitive to sights and sounds and smells than you would be if you were at a festival, right? There's just a lot more going on, a lot more that your brain has to process and to think about. Uh, so when, when you kind of take those things away, hence breaking the fixation on the cat with here with Dot, uh, then she becomes more sensitive. She's more in tune to it. So we can work on the lower levels. Good girl. And see Good here, job. now she's just responding to uh, the leash pressure again. So she's seeing Xavier and recognizing him, but the fixation's broken. So she's she's realizing that she still can and is is expected to um, yield to Good the leash girl. pressure. Very good job. Very good job. So now she's at the point that I'm not even using the remote. I just have it ready. As you can see, I've got her on level five. She's being very responsive. And I'm not having to do anything. She's just cool. And now that she's being respectful, I will let her actually get close to Xavier. Because she's not pulling. She's not she's not in, you know, prey drive mode. She's just eh, there's a cat. That's that's how I would like for her to be, just respectful. So the, the cat is not the problem, the mindset is the problem. So you can be close to the cat, I just don't want you getting crazy thoughts. Good girl, she's alright, good. So I'm not going to push it, you know, I'm not going to force them to interact, uh, you know, in a day or two, you know, as she sees Xavier more and more uh, she will you know be more comfortable with with him and you know probably go up and sniff him um, and it'll be a non-issue so this wild one's doing good <laughs>